Juicy Smolier um, is actually a very interesting character. And we remember the whole dramatic thing that happened, I think, a few years ago, where he claimed that he had been um, victim of um, the LGBTQ haters. Uh, I don't know, it was like a, a, um, a smack from haters of the LGBTQ community where he actually does recognize himself as being part of that community. And he said that it was actually a hate crime where two men actually came up to him, tied him up in a rope, and I think they were trying, I, I can't really even recall what the story was, but he said that they harassed him and they were talking all sorts of, um, not just racial slurs, but um, slurs about his sexuality. And apparently he, they left it, they let him go at some point. And this was in Boston, uh, sorry, in, Ch in Chicago. Basically, that story transpired into him actually being convicted later on because we found out that it's actually a lie. He hired these two men and yeah they were supposed to make it look like a scene of a crime of a hate crime but it really wasn't we still don't know what the motivation was a lot of people say it was about clout he wanted to get recognition because he was a big big star within the one of the biggest shows in that time and even now i think so called empire and honestly it just felt so mm, what was that for like you're already getting a lot of traction and clout from the show we don't understand where this other energy is coming from like it didn't quite make sense anyway um, the conviction is still being dangled over his head where he's supposed to go in uh, for, I think he's supposed to have a, a 150 days of jail time, but this conviction has actually not landed yet. However, during this trial, a lot of hate was coming his way for obvious reasons. A lot of people did not understand where, he, where, where, where and why he did this. Um, a lot of people in the LGBTQ community were mad that he's making them look bad. And like, it was, a, it was, a, it was a huge, huge thing. And of course, according to to him he says that this led him into alcoholism where he was like using substance abuses uh actually led him to substance abuse and he had gotten himself in a situation where it was really really bad and so basically he checked himself into rehab but it was like um not like inbound he wasn't in rehab he was um he'd go in and uh, like for his visits every time he needed to be in uh rehab anyway long story short is apparently he has officially gotten his five months sober chip and we actually did see him sporting that uh chip on his on his chain on the picture that was just uh, shown right there where he actually said he's very very proud to be rocking that chain and a lot of people are actually happy for him he says that he's been focusing on his health and being consistent with his work out during his period in rehab and yeah we are happy that he's doing very very well he said we continue to remember that unfortunately the criminal charge and the criminal trial has not been concluded yet and we still don't know what the situation is going to be like and apparently an even more interesting thing came up when i was reading about the story i saw that apparently during the time that he checked himself into outpatient treatment facility back in october of last year he was spotted reading the memoirs of matthew perry and we all remember matthew perry is that actor from um friends who unfortunately did end up committing um suicide a few a few days ago uh, a few i think end of last year and so basically guys are like are you trying to implicate that your struggles are so bad that you are probably going to end your own life like what's the story there a lot of speculation is there which i don't know i think it's still cloud chasing because it is juicy smolier so i don't know so we're waiting to see what's going to happen with this whole juicy Sm uh, juicy smolier's story and his conviction but yeah so far five months sober we are happy for him yes he's supposed to have a sub um, a conviction and a subsequent 150 days um to stand try uh, to to be in jail or something like that long story short he's sober for five months we are waiting to see what is going to happen with this trial mm, it's one of those stories where it's like neither here nor there we, we're not really paying that much attention to him anyway since the whole drama that happened but that's just a bias that's just my opinion